Hey, good day, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're located. Welcome to today's LinkedIn live session. We have one thing to cover today. That's Veeam One, one of our favorite products uh, here at Veeam. And honestly, myself and Melissa and Kirsten that are going going to join me today, we kind of feel we don't give enough love to Veeam One. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I want to introduce the the two experts that are going to be presenting with me. Uh, first will be uh, Melissa Palmer. How you doing, Melissa? I'm good, Rick. How are you? Hey, I'm ready for this uh, great topic. It is Veeam One Day. Today, we Veeam actually just, day, yeah. we just got off a great call about some futures of the product. Unfortunately, we can't tell you anything about it, but we have smiles this big. because We can tell you it's awesome, right? Yes, can say indeed. That? Indeed. And uh, uh, Melissa's on our product strategy team. She's uh, Veeam's solo VCDX, so she's uh, rocking the info. And then also uh, joined by Kirsten. Hi, hi everyone. I'm Kirsten. There <laughs> Thanks we go. for having me on LinkedIn Live today. I hope everyone's having a great day. <laughs> it's going to get better because we're going to talk about Veeam One. So let's jump over to uh, the screen share. I got a few slides prepared. Believe it or not, it is live, but we do prepare. So uh, got a brief uh, PowerPoint here that I'm going to show you. The main thing I want to communicate is Veeam One Day. So uh, first thing, if you're not familiar with Veeam One. You can go to the website and download Veeam One. It's one of our products that sits up in the uh, monitoring and analytics section of the website, right? So it is a management product. It, it's not a backup product, first of all. So Veeam, you know, we have so many backup products, but the monitoring products, you can go download a trial. Now, here's the other interesting thing. There's a free edition of Veeam One or the community edition of the Veeam Availability Suite. I love to say that I guarantee you that the free edition of Veeam One will tell you something about your environment that you didn't know, but you need to fix. I guarantee you, give it a try. So the first thing I wanna do with Veeam One is showcase a few things for you. Now this is actually not part of the free edition, but again, people know us for backup, the data protection view. I wanna highlight this data protection view. This is a specialized area of the Veeam One user interface, right? So you just, just click down here and you can go into that data protection view. And the data protection view really provides monitoring and analytics about your backup infrastructure. This is so important today, tomorrow, and above all, when you need to restore. And I've really found that there's such good information in here. And I, I wanna just zoom in here and kind of highlight some of that. The first thing I wanna highlight is just backup repositories. You have immediate visibility on the repositories. In a repository in Veeam terms, that's where we keep our backups. So you can clearly see that we have 11 of them right there. Then you also can go on a little bit more and find out, well, how many different systems do we have as a stored computer, right? So how many images? And that's very important as well. And you can see that there's 894 uh, computer images. Uh, so image-based backups. So we have a good number of systems that we're storing here. You also can go a little bit further and say, well, how much backup storage am I keeping? Well, I'm keeping 269 terabyte, or sorry, 26.9 terabytes of backup data. And then you can even break that down into increments, short-term, long-term backups. And, you know, when you couple that with the total number of repositories up here, first of all, you should be completely impressed by my Zoom-It skills. I did mess up one thing. But the reality here is that you have such good information about your backups. And same things for your proxies. What backup uh, windows are being used? How much is being utilized? What types of uh, transport modes are being used? How many hours? Incredible visibility. That's the first part of what I wanted to talk about and kind of intro V1. There's logic around backup, but there's also some incredible additional logic. So let's go into the first other part and I'm gonna have uh, Kirsten talk about alarms. Yeah, that was great, Rick. Thanks for uh, showing us a little bit of the data protection view. And I would like to say that your zoom it skills are on point. Um, so one of the, um, benefit of Veeam One is that it really allows you to be alerted in real time about any issues going on in your environment. And Veeam One has over 340 proactive alarms. And our customers are using Veeam One, and here are some of the things that they're saying about these alarms. 
um, in, the, that, in their data center today. Um, they're saying uh, that it provides instant alerts, it, um, instantly alerted uh, what's going on in their environment, of any problems, especially when staff is not in the office. Um, it provides them powerful monitoring and analytics to make better business decisions. And overall, you know, it provides that visibility into the data center so that you can ensure that you have a healthy data center and that you address any issues in real time. We can go ahead and go to the next slide here. And one of the things about the alarms is it's really, what do you want to be notified on in your data center? Do you want to know if a disk might be running out of space soon? Or maybe you want to keep an eye on the host uh, CPU usage in your environment. Uh, maybe you want to make sure that your backup repositories aren't running out of free space. And what's really cool about all these alarms is that they are adjustable. So you can actually go into the alarm and edit them and tweak them to different thresholds um, that you want them to be fired off on. Um, you might see uh, there is, we do have some ransomware alarm in Veeam 1 that we're gonna talk about uh, here in a couple slides. But, um, you know, Veeam 1 gives you that visibility into your environment, um, gives you those alarms that, so to alert you so you can fix those issues. And you, um, really, you know, gives you a lot of cool features that you can use when you're monitoring your data center. Uh, lastly, with these alarms too, you can set up email notifications or NMP traps. Um, so instead of having to actually go into Veeam 1 to see the alarm going off, you can actually just set a notification to be emailed to your inbox. And so you'll know immediately um, without even opening, opening Veeam 1 if one of these alarms has gone off in your environment. So if we switch over to the custom alarms, uh, one of the cool things about Veeam 1 is, yes, there are over 340 predefined alarms within it, the, pro the product itself. But if one of these alarms doesn't work for you, um, you can actually go ahead and create custom alarms um, in within Veeam 1. And these can be based on a couple of different criteria here, um, tasks or events, um, or performance counters, in-guest processes or services, and different things like that. So if you look at the screenshot here, you, once, you once you decide what type of alarm that you want to create, you then go ahead and you can create um, different uh, rules that you want to, when they, the alarm meets that or that resource meets that rule, then it would actually trigger that alarm. So it could be event-based, uh, based on a specific condition or state. You can actually clone um, alarms within Veeam 1. So maybe you like one of the alarms a lot within Veeam 1, maybe it's um, like maybe with one of the ransomware alarms that we're gonna talk about. You can actually clone that alarm and tweak it so you can tweak different resource counters and things like that. You don't have to go and build a whole new alarm if you, if you don't want to. So when you create these alarms, you create the rule type, you define um, the different performance thresholds, you specify the assignments. You can actually say, I want this alarm to be assigned to the whole virtual environment or maybe you're using something like Business View and you wanna just assign it to a specific group or category that you've made um, within Business View to trigger that alarm. And then lastly, before you close out of creating a, your own alarm, you wanna make sure that you set those notifications so that you can get notified uh, when the alarm is triggered. What about ransomware? And ransomware is in the news all day, every day. We hear about it all every day. So it's not going away anytime soon. If anything, it's getting smarter. And it comes down to not if, but when. So wouldn't it be cool to have a tool that you already have to identify this suspicious activity? And really, Veeam 1 can help do that for you. So Veeam 1 out of the box has two uh, alarms that are included in it, included that can help identify uh, the suspicious activity. The first one is the possible ransomware activity alarm. And this is gonna take a look at, you know, data store, uh, write rate, uh, network usage, uh, CPU, and different things like that. And um, basically check and see if your resources are way above what they should be. And then it will trigger this alarm. So then you can go ahead and say, huh, that, that virtual machine shouldn't be all of that uh, resource, all those resources. Maybe I should go ahead and take a deeper look in 
into that machine and make sure everything's working as it should. Because if it's not and it is ransomware, that that gives you a clear sign like maybe I need to take this power down that machine, maybe take it off the network and save the rest of my data before it gets attacked. The next alarm is the suspicious instrument size alarm. And that's really gonna take a look at your backup jobs. So um, basically what that does with Veeam, uh, when you were creating a backup job of that first run, it's gonna be that you know active fool, and then it's gonna create increments. And this alarm basically takes a look at your increments and, see, and sees if um, the run of the job, the incremental was way larger than its previous backup. And that could be a sign that you know ransomware might have been installed on that virtual machine um, and is ca causing the increment to be uh, quite large. So then you could go ahead and say, hey, I just backed up some virus or something like that. Like I need to go fix that before it, it, it attacks the rest of the data center. And the other Veeam 1 features that I have, there's a lot of performance charts within Veeam 1 to help you monitor network performance. And then previously, how I mentioned, um, you can build alarms based on specific performance measures as well. So if these alarms don't work for you, you can build your own alarm and tailor it to fit the needs of your business. Well, cool stuff. Uh, so alarms are a great gateway to a lot of different capabilities. Thank you, Kirsten. And you know these alarms can be customizable. You can even put action items. But then it gets smarter than that. And uh, I'd like Melissa to talk about her favorite capability of Veeam 1, Veeam Intelligence <laughs> Diagnostics and some automation. Yeah, absolutely. So now that we have a good baseline and understanding of alarms in Veeam 1, we're going to take things to the next level. So Veeam Intelligent Diagnostics. You know, a lot of technology vendors have these different things where things systems can call home or do all that kind of stuff. And no, I know a lot of customers don't necessarily turn that on because you don't want your data being sent to who knows what data center when they're doing who know what to it. This is a pull technology. So Veeam Intelligent Diagnostics will download signatures from Veeam. So it'll download the signatures automatically. You can go right into Veeam 1 and say, you know, update now. Or, you know, if you have an air gap system or you're not connecting your Veeam 1 server to the internet, you can go manually download those signatures and upload them to your Veeam 1 server. Once you have your signatures, Veeam Intelligent Diagnostics will actually parse the logs from your backup and replication environment. Now, this is really important because, you know, at Veeam, you know, we see all sorts of different things. You know, we see customers calling in with issues or common misconfigurations or maybe using the product away that we didn't anticipate. Veeam can then take all of these things that we're seeing through support cases and create these Veeam intelligent diagnostic signatures. So the whole goal of this is to find problems before they start in your environment by doing this detailed log analysis. We want to do this for a number of reasons. We want to minimize downtime and productivity loss, right? We want to find your issue, the issues in your Veeam um, environment before they happen. This really ties back to Rick's data protection view. We're going to look at all of your Veeam components and make sure they're in a good state. It allows you as the administrator to be empowered and identify these issues before they even start. And we can really reduce recovery times and time spent on support calls. So let's look at this quick workflow before we go and talk detailed about the support, but um, we're just going to kind of parse those logs. We're going to go ask for sig updated signatures from Veeam and Veeam will update that knowledge base and update those signatures. We get our new signatures and we run our analysis. If something is found, it's going to trigger a Veeam 1 alarm because everybody alarms, everyone loves alarm here, alarms here and you'll be notified of the potential issue in your environment. So let's take a closer look now. This is about streamlining the support experience, right? So when an alarm is triggered, you can see this cause and resolution in the bottom. We're gonna tell you exactly what happened in your environment and how to fix it. This was a really simple one because this was a, an issue that was encountered during the V10 upgrade with the console. And you didn't really have to do anything, it just went away. And you can also see a signature ID highlighted in the bottom. So let's say this was a, a different type of issue. If there was an issue that you needed to take action to fix, we would link right to the KB article here and tell you, hey, go look at KB XYZ to fix your issue quickly and easily. So 
you would see that data right here. And you know, a lot of times our customers don't even bother putting in support cases when they run into a Veeam Intelligent Diagnostics Alarm, since we're telling them how to fix things. However, if you did want to open a case or you know, you just wanted Veeam to take a closer look or talk to someone, you would pop that signature ID right inside of that bit, that field right there when you open your case. So when Veeam support gets your case, they're gonna know immediately what your issue is and be able to streamline your support experience. You're gonna get someone that knows your issue, you know your issue, and you guys are gonna be able to have a great conversation and get you guys fixed as soon as possible. Now keep in mind, a lot of these issues will find before you see an issue. So you know, you're know you being really proactive here and fixing things before they go wrong. Can I have the next slide, uh, Rick? And this kind of, um, you know, I, I group these things together as intelligence and automation. So right, Veeam Intelligent Diagnostics is the intelligence about your environment. And now I want to take a look at something called remediation actions. So a remediation action in a Veeam One Alarm has customizable options. I'll show you a little bit out of the box. We have a bunch of these, but it's the ability to take an action when an alarm is triggered. We have a bunch of them that come out of the box. So you can just say, hey, if this alarm is triggered, take this action, great. You can also do this in any alarm you want and put a custom script in there to take action. Uh, this is great because we're gonna reduce downtime by you know, not requiring manual responses for those issues that you are encountering over and over again. And uh, let's go to the next slide, please, Rick. And here's how you would just do this, right? You would just go to your alarm setting, there's an actions tab, and you would have the ability to either run the remediation action as soon as an alarm is triggered, or here's another great thing, you know, some customers may not be comfortable in their environment automatically taking action, especially if this is something they're using for the first time. So execution can be 100% automatic or manual. Manual means that once the alarm is triggered, you know, you'll have your notification set up, you'll get your notification. All you have to do is log into Veeam One and click the remediate button. So you'll see a button right in there to pretty much click and run your remediation action. So it'll find, it's still somewhat automatic, right? It's still automatically gonna fix that. But if you're more comfortable having that human take a look before anything uh, happens in your environment and anything runs, we can do that as well. So super simple, you would just come into the actions tab in your Veeam One Alarm, set everything up, and you can see that we have a number of predefined actions available. Next slide, please, Rick. So here are the alarms out of the box that have out of the box remediation actions. So let's take my favorite example right here is VMs with no backups. Uh, that's not something we ever wanna see in our environment too. We're not backing up a VM. So we have the ability to do a bunch of different things. We have a bunch of different out of the box remediation actions for VMs with no backups. Uh, first and foremost, we can add the VM to a backup job, right? You would just create a, a job in BNR, call it something like, you know, VMs with no backup, set it to run once a day because, hey, that's better than not backing up at all, right? We can do a number of other things too. We can actually add it to the job and then run the job so you're starting to protect that VM immediately. You can uh, do a quick backup. You can start VMZip. You can do a bunch of different things in your environment to make sure that you're backing up those VMs. So that's a popular one, but you can see, you know, backup job disabled, we can enable the job, too many snapshots, we can take actions there. And, you know, my favorite thing is that we have so many things related to snapshots, because as we all know that snapshots can get pretty hairy sometimes. So can I have the next slide? I just wanna take a couple minutes to go over all of the things that were brought to Veeam Intelligent Diagnostics in V10. So we added, a ton of new signatures, uh, including for Cloud Connect customers, right? We added a new check. So now Veeam Intelligent Diagnostics understands any fixes applied to your backup server, right? So if you saw an alarm, you applied hotfix XYZ123, the ideal know that and know that hotfix is applied. So if there's another issue that needs that hotfix, the alarm won't be triggered because you've already got it. Uh, enhanced log parsing. So we now, when we, First debut this feature in 9.5 update four, we were really focusing on the Veeam backup server, but now we can also prox, um, parse logs for proxies and backup repositories. And you know we added more of these remediation actions in Veeam 1 version 10. So 
that's kind of the intelligence and the automation tied together, just making Veeam One a smarter tool in your environment. And one thing I wanna mention is if, if you're a Veeam Availability Suite customer, you already own Veeam One. So you might not be using it today, but if you have Vaz, you have Veeam One. And even if you don't, you can go download a 30 day free trial on veeam.com right now and try these out for yourself. <laughs> Yeah, great stuff, Melissa. And a big shout out to David D from Arizona, who, like you, Melissa, that is one of his favorite things is intelligent diagnostics. So a couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, if you didn't know, you can actually download the trial at, I have the shortest URL ever, vee.am slash try. This is the way that you can download a trial for Veeam Availability Suite. So I get the uh, micro URL award. But now I want to pivot to something that actually on another social media network, we're here on LinkedIn, but oh, yeah. on, on Twitter, uh, Melissa, Kirsten, and I have kind of uh, taken this little underground situation here, and we're making Veeam one catch of the day. Now, I'm not quite every day. I, I target most days, but there's a hashtag that we've made uh, on Twitter called Veeam1COTD. And my goal here is to kind of every day that I learn something with Veeam1, share it with you. A couple days ago, I had one, uh, some of the command and control functions, right? I didn't even uh, remember that Veeam1 did this until someone asked me. They had, hey, I need to reboot my virtual machine. I could go log into Hyper-V or vCenter or get my IP address from these things, right? Is that you can do all this in Veeam 1, but um, we have a lot of information. Sometimes it's screenshots. Uh, sometimes uh, Melissa will try to outdo me with a YouTube video versus a Twitter <laughs> video. Those do get more views, but uh, the Veeam 1 catch of the day, we have some of our Veeam employees uh, kind of jumping on the bandwagon here. A couple of the vanguards are liking this type of stuff. So uh, we were wrapping up, but the one thing I wanted to, one thing I wanted to highlight here as we wrap up here with Veeam One is we did just finish Veeam On a few weeks ago, actually about a month ago, and it is great. We actually exceeded all of our expectations. We had more people attend, more interest than ever, and believe it or not, one of the most uh, engaging sessions we had was the Veeam One session. Now, you can go over to veeamon.com. And you can register for free to replay that. But uh, Kirsten and Melissa, anything you want to summarize about uh, the VeeamON event and uh, in particular the Veeam One session that you did? Yeah, actually, Kirsten and I were pleasantly surprised. We had a ton of great interaction from the audience. Uh, we gave you a little preview of some of our slides today, but we went much more in depth and actually did demos of what we talked about today. You know, Veeam One is one of those things that you might not be using, you might already own, but it is super useful in your environment. Like Rick said, if you'll install it and find out something that you need to fix probably within the first couple of minutes. Super easy to get started with, really easy to use, really intuitive, and there's just so much you can do with it. Yeah, I agree with Melissa there. Our session um, went a little bit more in depth about some of the stuff we talked about today, and we did do some demos. So for example, if you want to see like Beam Intelligent Diagnostics in action or even remediation actions in actions, you should definitely check it out. And you showed how um, to make a custom alarm, right, Kirsten? Yeah, so get started making custom alarms today. Watch our session and you'll be ready to go. Remediation actions in action. That's yes. action. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and wrap up here, but I got to tease something coming up for next week. So next week... Sir Dave Russell, well, he's not really a sir, but to me, I, I hold that gentleman in high regard. Uh, Mr. Dave Russell is going to do a session with one of our vanguards, Tech Stringy, Paul Stringfellow, Modern Data Strategies for Interesting Times. And that is a very compelling topic. I think uh, Tech Stringy, Paul, will give a really, really good conversation from the market uh, and from the, the realities that we're dealing with today. So check that one out as, as long alongside Dave Russell. I believe that's Monday. Uh, that's going to be a LinkedIn Live as well. So on behalf of the Veeam Global Marketing Team, the Veeam Social Media Teams, and then the Veeam Product Strategy Team, thanks for attending this LinkedIn Live today.